Hello everyone. From this video, we are going to talk about Bluetooth programming. Now, before we go and start Bluetooth programming, let's understand a few important things about Bluetooth module. Just like when you want to call your friend, you dial number on your phone and then from your phone, a link is connected to the nearest tower. From that tower, it goes to the next tower, which is nearest to the friend's number. And from that tower, the link goes to your friend's number. And then the mobile phone or your friend starts ringing. And then when he accepts the phone call, a link is established between your phone and your friend's phone. And that link is specifically between your phone and your friend's phone so that nobody else can listen to what you are talking. Now, similar way, when we want to connect a Bluetooth to Arduino, first we need to establish a link between your Arduino and the Bluetooth. Once that link is established, we can have a communication between the Bluetooth and the Arduino. To establish that link in Arduino, we have a command called serial begin. Now serial begin, we had seen this command when we spoke about serial monitor. It establishes the communication between a device and Arduino to communicate in a serial mode. This command also decides the rate of communication using this number here. We decide the rate of communication. In this case, we are talking about 9600 bits per minute. This is also called baud rate. You can know the baud rate for the device in use by looking at the data sheet of the manufacturer. Generally, we see that we can work with 9600 baud rate. Sometimes we also use 115,200 as the baud rate. For our kit, we are going to use 9600 as the baud rate. Now, once we establish this communication, then we start talking. Now, in case of Bluetooth, there is an interesting thing in between. The Bluetooth transmits the signal and it comes and sits into the buffer. So, it's in the Bluetooth buffer. And not what we do is we want to act on those commands which we have received from Bluetooth. So, this is same as read, store, compare and act. But there is one additional step in between. We don't want to read if there is nothing to read. For example, in our house, we don't go and keep on opening the door and check if somebody has arrived. What we have is we have a bell. If somebody rings the bell, we know somebody has arrived and then only we go and check who has arrived. Similar way, when there is something which is coming inside the Bluetooth, then only we want to read. And how we check that something has come? Very simple. Okay, let's assume that there is a basket and we are going to put some, you know, apples inside it. If there are no apples, the basket is empty. And if some apples have come, or do I need to know how many apples have come? No, I don't need to know how many apples have come. What I need to know is, have the apples come or not? Same way, I want to know in the buffer, is there any code which has arrived in the buffer or not? And we do that using the command Bluetooth available bytes. When the buffer is empty, how many bytes are available? Zero. And when buffer has something, how many bytes are available? Maybe one, two, three, four. We don't know. But definitely greater than zero. And so we do a check. If we use compare block greater than. If Bluetooth available bytes greater than zero, that means there are some bytes waiting there. And only when the Bluetooth available bytes are greater than zero, we want to start reading. And for reading, we use command Bluetooth read. Now this command or this block is a curious mind block which combines two actions together. Our actions of read and store. Both the actions are combined in this one block. So when we use this block, it reads the character and it puts them in a 
variable it creates the variable automatically it creates a variable named as b char and puts that value which we have read into that variable okay so if i connect this to the event block in this case curious mind you can see you observe here we have done serial begin we have started if serial available is greater than zero what happens we want to read and you see here automatically it has created a variable called bcar and it has stored whatever is the serial read it has stored into the bcar bcar equal to serial read so it has performed both the actions read and store now read done store done what we need compare and act for that we can use if then or if then else now to compare and act we also have a special block here that is the bluetooth read car this block performs the comparison with this block we don't need any comparison operator because this block itself is an equality comparison operator so if you see here if i put this and i add this here it gives b car equal to 70 so this character f is compared as a numerical value character f has a numerical value of 70 where does this 70 come from it is the ascii code a s c i i ascii code of character f that we compare and we take action now we know we want to perform these actions continuously so we put a forever here and that is our bluetooth program now we need to see the similarities between the bluetooth program and the sensor program what we are doing is we are doing read and store we have to put this inside here yes we are doing read and store and the stored value we are comparing and we are acting now this one command is doing both read and store this one command is comparing and we will put action here now what is extra extra is this if that we are doing the reading and storing action only if there is something to read so our raca starts when we see in our buffer that there is something to read and only that time the rfca will start so that's the only small difference between the sensor program and bluetooth program rest all steps are same now there are a few more things we need to understand about bluetooth we have seen hc05 module bluetooth module which we have used in our video curio fire connections we see how to connect the bluetooth hc05 module to our curio fire board if you have not watched that video please watch the video and you will understand how to connect our hc05 module to the curio fire board it has four pins receiver transmitter ground and 5 volt the remaining two pins of hc05 module which are state and enable we do not use one thing which we need to understand is the bluetooth communicates with our arduino over the serial pins 1 and 0 and we know that serial pins 1 and 0 are used to upload the program onto arduino so when we are using bluetooth we want to upload the program we must disconnect the bluetooth from curio fire board upload the program and then connect the bluetooth otherwise the computer will try to upload the program into the bluetooth instead of arduino because the one and zero pins are connected to transmit and receive of bluetooth and so there will be confusion and your program upload will fail to avoid that before uploading the program you need to disconnect you need to remove the bluetooth module from curio fire board upload the program and then put the module again before you start in our next video we will create one program for switching on and switching off of led using bluetooth for that we will have one app through the android app we are going to send the commands which will be received by bluetooth and it will switch on or switch off the led meet you in your next video